Good morning everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today is another vlogmas baking day. We've got several things we're going to do today. I'm going to make some lemon bars, some cherry streusel bars, and some meringue cookies. start today with our lemon bars. And the first thing we're going to make is our crust. So I'm going to preheat my oven to 350 and we'll get started putting that together. We're going to prep our pans by putting some foil in them. I don't have any more regular size foil so I've got wider foil, which that will be fine. So we're just going to fit it in there like that. And we'll do the same with this pan. And we're going to spray these pans just lightly so that our crust doesn't stick. We're going to start with some flour in our bowl and we're going to add some powdered sugar and then we're going to cut in some butter. Now the instructions say to use your pastry cutter. I am going to use a food processor because it's a lot easier and it it, um, it cuts it in really, really well. And your butter needs to be cold. Mine is actually still frozen because I got butter out last night because I forgot that it needed to be cold. So the butter I got out is no longer cold. <clears throat> And I can't remember now. Oh, I just rubbed butter on my face. <laughs> Whoops. So I can't remember if this makes one rest, or if this will make one pan or two pans. I need to look at my instructions again. Okay, this just makes one. So I'm going to have to do two of these. So I'm going to pour that in the pan and then I'm going to put that little bit that's left in here and do the same thing. Of course I'm making a mess. What a shock. <clears throat> Oops. I can't ever remember how this thing works. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and put together the crust for the second pan as well before I move on. And I could do this in my full size processor, but food processor, but it's buried. So I'm just going to use my small one. 
I used my larger one, I could get everything in there at once, but it's buried under some other things in my cabinet, so. So we'll add some of our flour and some of our powdered sugar. Add a little bit more of this butter in here. is we're going to take each of these and we're just going to pat this crust down into our pan. And then we're going to stick in the oven and we're going to bake it for 15 minutes or so until our crust is lightly browned. Oops. Okay, so these are going to go in the oven now for 15 minutes. And we're going to use this again when we start our cherry bars. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it out. I'm just going to get it out of the way. So I'm going to go ahead and double this filling recipe and then we'll just split it between the two pans. So we need, let me see, we need two thirds cup of lemon juice. So we're going to start with our eggs and we're going to put those in our mixer. The sun's starting to come up so I went ahead and closed my blinds before the sun is shining and blinding all of us. Okay, so we're just going to beat our eggs now until they are really thick and lemon colored, about three minutes. our eggs. Now we're going to add lemon juice and some lemon zest. Sugar, baking powder, and salt. Oh, yes. We're also going to add a little bit more flour. And we're gonna mix this all up now until it's blended up. We're gonna scrape down our sides occasionally just to make sure that everything is being well mixed. So our crust portion has about three or four more minutes. So I'm gonna let this mix a few more minutes and just make sure that all the flour gets mixed in and there aren't any little clumps. Timer going off, let's check and see what these look like. I think they might need just another couple minutes. Okay. So these look pretty good right now. So I'm going to set them up here on the stove top. 
and we are going to pour our filling mixture. We're going to divide it between these two pans. even so now we're going to put these back in the oven and we're going to bake them for another 15 minutes or until our filling is set and it'll be browned just a little bit around the edges We'll take that out in 15 minutes and start letting it cool. While the lemon bars finish baking, we're gonna go ahead and start working on the crust for our cherry bars. So in this bowl, I have flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt. And we're going to mix it up in the food processor along with some almond paste and some butter. So since I am going to use my smaller food processor again, I'm going to cut everything in small pieces and do part of it at a time. Oops. And this butter is frozen. You don't need it to be frozen. You just need it to be cold. So what I'm going to do is add a little bit of butter. A little bit of the almond paste. And some of the dry ingredients here, some of the powdered and we're just going to run it through the food processor. And then I'm going to pour it in another bowl so that we can get all of it mixed together before we do anything else with it. I think I didn't have my, my blade in there right. We also need some almond extract, which I almost forgot. Okay, and there's the timer going off on our lemon bars. So let me give those a little check. So this one on the that was on the top rack is done. The one that was on the bottom rack still needed a few more minutes. So I put that one back in. And when it's done, we'll pull it out and put it on this tray. Alrighty, last batch into the food processor. There 
right, here is the second batch of lemon bars. So we're just gonna put both of these over here on the counter. We're gonna let them cool. While they're still warm though, we're gonna sprinkle some powdered sugar on them. Now we won't touch these until they're completely cool and then we'll go ahead and cut them into bars. So we've got this all processed now. I'm going to use this to just kind of stir it up a little bit and just make sure that all of the ingredients are mixed up. And then I'm going to pull out two cups into this other bowl and we're gonna use that for our streusel topping. So now we're just gonna divide this dough or this mixture between our two pans, which these are uh, nine by 13, I think. And I have a piece of parchment paper down that I've sprayed with some baking spray. Okay, so whoops. So just like with our lemon bars, we're going to spread this around. In our pan so that it's covering the whole bottom of the pan. And then we're gonna take our measuring cup and we're just gonna use it to kind of smash it down. You could use a glass. You could, you could honestly just use your hands if you wanted. But this gets it down nice and firm. We could have done this on our lemon bars too. So just like with our lemon bars, now we're gonna put these in the oven for about 15 minutes, 15 to 18 until they are starting to brown and set up. So let's go ahead and get those in the oven. So while those bake, we're gonna start our filling. So we are going to use some tart red cherries. These are just frozen cherries that you buy at the grocery store. Some sugar. We're going to add some water and some cornstarch. Now, last year, if you watched me, if you watched any of my videos from last year, you'll know that when I was making my cherry bars, I accidentally added baking soda instead of cornstarch. Does not turn out, just FYI. But my My cornstarch container and my baking soda container look the same. So I just grabbed one and didn't even realize I was doing it. I'm going to add some lemon juice and a little bit of butter. And then we're going to add just a pinch of salt. And we're just going to cook this all together until everything is melted or dissolved and we're going to cook it until the cherries start to pop. So once everything is cooked down it's going to take about eight to ten minutes to get the filling completely done. Uh, 
Alrighty, so let's check on our, our uh, crust and see how it looks. Ooh, yep, they are done. Alright, this is, whoa, this is thick enough. This has thickened up. So now we're going to pour it over our, our baked crust. We're just going to spread it over so that it's covering all of the crust. We're going to take our reserved streusel and we're just going to sprinkle it over the top of the cherry filling. Like this. Okay, and we're going to bake them about 30 minutes. Until our, until they are nice and bubbly. These pans are still hot, I can't get a hold of them, there we go. All right, while that bakes, I'm gonna clean up my mess from what I've made so far today, and then we'll move on. Okay, the last thing that we are going to make today is our meringue cookies. So we need egg whites only, so I'm gonna go ahead and get those um, separated out. Whites, we want to add some salt and cream of tartar and we're going to use our whisk attachment and we're going to mix this now at high speed until we start seeing some soft peaks okay so we do see some peaks here so now we're going to go ahead and start adding in our sugar just a little bit at a time while it's beating Until we see stiff peaks. So that looks good and then I'm going to put it into a decorator bag 
It's just got a plain tip in it. You can use whatever you want. And then I'm going to pipe it onto some cookie trays that have parchment paper on them. And our cherry bars are, they have about seven or eight more minutes. And then I'll check them and see if they are done. And usually that's about the right time. So I want to get as much of this out of the beater as I can. And then I'm going to drop this into this bag. And then I'm just going to pipe out some circles or other shapes onto this. I usually just do little circles because they're the perfect little bite-sized cookies. You could do stars or Christmas trees or whatever you wanted. I usually just make it pretty simple. And I really love these. I have a really hard time sharing these. <laughs> And my sister is coming over later with her grandbaby. I'm so excited. Haven't seen him since he was about just four or five days old. And he is, let's see, two, he's almost two months old. Okay, just one tray. And I cut this recipe down a little bit from what I normally make because I only have two trays in the oven that I have here. But I think I might still have too much um, meringue. Okay. Now this is the part that stinks, trying to open the bag up and get the rest of it in there. I always end up making it. I don't know how professional bakers do it. Oops. All right. I'll just keep filling our tray here. Cherry bars are almost done. Where's the one minute countdown? Yep not going to all fit. All right. Mmm, look how good those look. So I need our oven to be down to 200. So I'm going to let it sit for a little while before I put these cookies in. I am though going to I am going to get some sprinkles and just top them with some colored sprinkles. I'll do one tray red and one tray green. And of course, this is completely optional. I just like the way it looks more Christmassy. And we'll do green on this other tray. to let them cool. And one thing that's missing off these cherry bars, I always forget to buy it, is slivered almonds. So if you have some slivered or sliced almonds, you sprinkle those over the top before you bake it. I always forget to buy them, so I didn't have any today. Let's see. I'll go ahead and do what I can on this other tray. There's not a whole lot left. But more than I would want to just throw away. Let's do some silver on these. All right, we are 
gonna go ahead and get these in our oven. Let's see if I can get, well, nope, that's not gonna work. All right, so I'm gonna do these first and then I'll add this one once these are done. So <clears throat> we're gonna leave those in there for an hour and after 30 minutes, we're gonna move, we're gonna swap the racks that they're on so that they cook evenly. So I'll set it for 30 minutes and then we'll be back, we'll swap the racks, we'll do another 30 minutes and then we'll put this other batch in. First two batches of meringue cookies are done and cool, so I'm just gonna put them in baggies. Oh, maybe they're not all done. That's weird, I have a couple on the edge that still feel a little bit soft in the middle. But the ones in the middle are done. That's, oh, no, I lied. Yep, these are not good. So let me see if these green ones are done. They may all have to go back in the oven. Oh no, these don't feel done either. A few of them do. Okay. My sister just left with her grandbaby. We had a really nice visit. He is so cute. So sweet. Oh, let me let the puppy dog in. Okay, these are done now, finally. I had to put the green ones back in too, but I could only get two trays in at a time. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in this baggie. And the last tray should be done in, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes. And then I'll bag those up as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and make the glaze frosting drizzle thing for the cherry bars. I was gonna go ahead and cut the lemon bars, but I'm going to wait I don't have any more containers to put them in, so I'm just gonna leave them in these pans. Once I have some aluminum pans that I can put the cut pieces in, I'll go ahead and slice these up or cut these in into bars and we'll store them in um, one of those like aluminum cake pans with the lid so that they are protected. Once we're done here though, I'll go ahead and cover them over and I'll stick them in the refrigerator. For our frosting, we're gonna put some powdered sugar We're going to add some almond extract. And some heavy whipping cream. And we're just gonna whisk that, we're just gonna whisk that together. And you just use more or less cream or powdered sugar to make this to the consistency that you want. I try to make it to a drizzling consistency and then I'm gonna drizzle it off this um, whisk across my pans of cherry bars. <clears throat> and I just kinda go diagonally like this. And you can add as much or as little frosting as you want. I like frosting, as you guys know, so I usually add quite a bit to mine. Whoops. And I actually think I'm gonna make just a little bit more. And then I just usually go diagonally the other direction so that it's a crisscross pattern on there. There we go. So what we're gonna do with these then is we're gonna let them sit 
until this frosting kind of hardens and then we can cut these or we can store them in the refrigerator until we're ready to cut them. So what I'm going to do is wait till this is hardened, cover it lightly with plastic wrap, and then I'll store these in the refrigerator and then I'll get them out when I'm ready to start cutting them and um, sorting them out to put in people's trays. So I think that's going to do it for this video. So we've got two pans of the cherry streusel bars. We've got two pans of lemon bars, which I'm so excited about, and these streusel bars. I love these. And then we've got our meringue cookies. So there's three more things that we've gotten ready to go on Christmas goodie trays. So if you like this video, um, please hit the like button. I would really appreciate it. And if you are interested in any of these recipes, if you sign up for my newsletter, you will get five free recipes. And there will also be a link if you want the entire set of recipes, um, you can go and purchase those for $5 for the full set. So again, I just wanna say thanks for watching and keep a lookout tomorrow for my next Vlogmas video. Thanks guys.